Hi, Sir Nico. How are you? Uh, today we will learn uh, watershed modeling uh, that is um, a software that is ArcGIS map. And how to be how we can uh, model a watershed. And uh, we have to be also learn here. To be a slide show and this is like yes, and this and I would uh, yes, or a practical what would we have to be done here here or watershed modeling. First of all we have to be uh, uh, what what the things that we, we have to be what all the data in fact we have to be need here uh, to, uh, for watershed modeling. Uh, first of all we have to be need our data that is the Aster GDM that uh, should be a 30 meter and that's its source USGS for our website and uh, uh, here in the next uh, two or three, after two or three slides, you can see how to uh, download uh, data, and then we have to be clip data, and then we will be seeing field flow accumulation, and after we will be a watershed delineate, and then after that, interpolation uh, uh, precipitation data, intersection with uh, watershed, and calculation of runoff in the runoff in the uh, this is the basically first. Uh, first of all, we have to be uh, do a download uh, data from the STGTM. This is a website uh, where we can be download our data. Here you can see that this this is we have the written app, uh, at, at the place of the Pakistan. That's here its longitude, its their latitude, and uh, you have to be just open it to the creator account, and then uh, you then you can go there and write the name of the place, and the place will be in front of you. So after that, uh, for downloading a GDM data, you have to be a go as article to the data sets. So first search criteria. First of all, then we have to be go our data sets, and onto data sets there will be a as article. We have to be a a check mark on SRTM1 uh, or second global. And next, uh, uh, there will be a uh, Python here will be created to be here. You can be see that, and this is the footprint. And you can be click on this. You can be see uh, this uh, this type of uh, uh, rectangle. Uh, that is your study area, and. Uh, so if you are looking that the study area under one tile if there is not completion of one tile you can be mm, two tiles uh, you can be download and then you have to be a uh, uh, composition area. next you have to uh, and when you be click here the downloading process will be started and next you have to be a uh, open art map and onto the open art map you have to be uh, uh, to be upload a data uh, add data and uh, here we have edit a data and next you have to be need uh, uh, when you have uh, add data you have to be need to clip your study area for the clarity uh, study area you, we have to be need a uh, uh, shape file of that area so this is the map of Punjab and this is the attack that's analyzed and so it's my study area and how to be we can click in the study area you can see that we have to be mm, on to the go under the click and uh, we will be marked select selected how we will be selected by this arrow we can by this arrow we can be selected and after to the selection uh, of this we have to be uh, uh, go under the search criteria we will be right click and uh, uh, and clip data management we will be used and uh, we will be clipping here and the input to raster file we will be write uh, a file which we want to clip and output will be there will be a shape file that is the vector data and there is a uh, in case of uh, input data there will be a raster data which we want to clip next this is a uh, Data is now to be clicked, and the, and the next step huh? we have to be go on to the hydrological tool. A uh, hydrological tool that's on our toolbar. Okay, you can see the our toolbar in our toolbar. This, this here you can this is my arrow insert arrow. This is our toolbox, 
and by clicking this there will be a hydrological tool in a farm there you can be uh, see that how can be we uh, just input and giving a output and this is the way uh, to sync the error sync the basically that's if there is any error that will be sync and then we will feel if there is any error any type of error to be there we will be feel it by using the application of field that is also uh, on to the R toolbox next uh, we have we will be apply flow accumulation flow accumulation is where the water flow basically water basically flow on to the D8 model and in a direction water can flow so by the uh, d8 values or d8 model uh, that tells us where to be a water flow so by this we can find out where the water is flowing and uh, this will be applies and that is uh, on the our toolbar um, toolbox and that is on to the hydrological tool and the 8 model that uh, this is the basically where uh, they are moving this is the 8 ma uh, model 1 is for direction 2 is other direction 4 here this is 2 keep 2 power if 2 power is 0 then that will be 1 if 2 power is 1 then will be 2 2 power 2 4 2 power 3 8 2 power 4 16 2 power 5 32 2 power 6 64 2 power uh, 0 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, there will be 0 in the outside. Accumulation onto the pixel, uh, flow accumulation. And uh, after that flow accumulation will be raster calculation. A raster calculation is a raster calculator that and it is also onto the hierarchical tool. Will be applied in this the formula we will be used. And 100, we can change the value 100. Uh, it's mean greater than 100 values that will be generated stream network if we apply 1000 that is uh, will be greater than that the values that has 1000 so that will be not a best model as lower the value that will be our best model we will be get a best watershed model the one is constant and con, con is here and we will be double click on, on it and onto the flow accumulation we apply it then give an output and ok it and will be save onto the raster calculation a threshold value raster calculation uh, is the raster calculator so this is the raster calculation and uh, after this raster to polygon we will be converted this from the raster to polyline it, it's you know the stream network is not a polygon that is a line so will we I change it from raster to polyline and after that uh, this we will be stream links to each other that will be applied and to the hydrological tool also and to the R toolbox and how to be a stream link to each other and after that stream order uh, there are two method uh, stroller and tree method one is uh, uh, true and other is a uh, false method we use a false method There is the stream order 1, 2, 3 by the coloring scheme. There are order is to be given here. And now to stream to the feature, and that is also uh, applied after um, the stream order and the stream to the feature. And now shape file will be created for to the point that we want to be created with there. So um, we will create a shape file, point shape file. And we will be point here where the stream network are connected to each other. If they are here, you can see that if here they are connected, we will be given a point here by start editing. Uh, when we uh, created a shape file, then we will be going to the editor and start editing. And uh, onto the all the white shape, we will be point at where the two streams are uh, meet. And uh, Then and this, these are the all point that have been pointed to be here. And this is the watershed has been created. When we will stream network will be created, we will stop the writing 
uh, stop editing uh, from the editor uh, uh, here the, from the editor will be save edits and then stop edits then we will apply the watershed on uh, watershed application and you can see that here a small number of um, from raster to polygon by applying there a small number in clarity so this is the watershed has been created so this is the watershed and now this one in raster to polygon that is converting and this is the so, watershed so from this connected from raster to polygon and if we now we have to read precipitation this is the second step if we wanted to uh, find out the precipitation on onto the that area so we will be apply a precipitation we have to be a data of x y layer so from where here from the file we will be apply a x y layer we will upload in z direction we will be not given to be here and uh, after that, uh, when uh, there will be uh, also a WGS1984, we will be slick. And after that, interpolation of precipitation data by using IDW, uh, we will be interpolate this data. And the uh, precipitation output and Z value will be normal as we want in January, February, March, April. We have any one, so we can be found out. And uh, from the environment setting will be environment setting. It's after the applying this, we will be get uh, such type of uh, value. Inverse distance rate ID will be basically inverse distance rate. Calculation of run. How to be we can calculate run to run. So after that, we have to be get our raster calculator. Under the raster calculator, and IDW precipitation will be apply. And this is the formula IDW. P plus 0 0.0025 multiplied by 1000 and in the beginning we will be int will be applied that is to be a here and this is the formula to calculate the raster calculation raster calculation IDW uh, we have to be calculate here now you can see the figure after that, we will convert it from raster to polygon. Raster to polygon is a vector conversion. It is basically a conversion from raster to vector. So we convert it from raster to vector. And uh, now we have to find out the length. Uh, we can find out the length uh, by simply going to the calculate geometry. And we have to be a table has been open after final work. We have to be done. We have to be go there and calculate geometry and enter into the parameter. There will be length and the length will be generated we wait a little bit uh, okay but first we have to be created this uh, shape length a new uh, attribute for it where we have to go to it where we right click it and there will be a calculate geometry you can we calculate it and if there is for when we calculation here area there will be into the Precipitation, you cannot see our area. So for this, we have to be a projection setting it. So we have to be go onto the here onto the all or toolbars. We will be settings projection projection according to this. Then we will be apply a UTM parent shape file. We will be we have to be a created after this. We can be a parent shape file that's in should that uh, that uh, should be a UTM zone. We have to be given there in server WGS1984. So we will be add this and they are will be created. And, uh, you can see that from the layer properties source and if and um, UTM zone 43 we are working to be here. There is a big as Punjabi and UTM zone 43. So we will calculate area, calculate area by saying calculating geometry method into the scale method. Uh, and after that field calculator uh, we have to be a field calculator and we can be cal um, calculate uh, field calculator of by using we can find out rainfall average rainfall or any other we have calculating here rainfall so rainfall grid code upon 1000 we can be calculate we have the formula of rainfall so basically it's the formula of rainfall grid code upon 1000 we will apply this and we can find out here over our Overlay analysis of our sheet in rainfall. 
now we uh, intersect this so last we have to be worried on the raster to polygon and the watershed we will be uh, overlay this and by intersection intersection can there is a geo process here is i think uh, intersection and tool can also be generated also from here and then uh, and then we will be dissolved and geo grid code grid code grid code will be dissolved onto the final work onto the intersection and they are and it's not to be dissolved and uh, we have to calculate a net runoff calculation so runoff is equal to its formula area in meter square multiplied by rainfall in millimeter so we will multiply it by field calculator and we generated a new column for it and mean we have to be like here here you can see that mean drain mean run multiply by area and we multiply it and run up will be calculated net run off so net run off is basically equal to it's the formula q is equal to kpa where q is net run off a is the area of so what is it? P is annual average in rainfall K is constant in its value. So by using this formula we can complete net or uh, So basically we have to do what we have to do work here and um, um, today you can see we have create a watershed, we have to find out its area and basically net run up onto and just thank you for uh, uh listening if you have uh, facing any problem or if you uh, uh, have any question you can uh, any question to me and uh, you can also if, uh, uh, if you give, please give me feedbacks and uh, also please subscribe my this channel uh, for more videos thank you